Hello, wonderful student. Welcome again to Coronet Africa Online School. Um, we are not done with uh, reproduction. Uh, we are still discussing sexual reproduction in plants. And having discussed or looked uh, at the structure and functions of a flower, let us move ahead and look at fertilization in plants since flower is the reproductive structure in plants. Fertilization is defined as the fusion of male and female nuclei in the embryo sac. The male gamete is contained in the pollen grain which is produced in the anther. So this is the pollen uh, grain. And then the female gamete or the egg cell uh, is found in ovules. So this is the egg cell found in the ovules within a structure called the embryo sac. And you have seen uh, the embryo sac or the ovule has a micropyle, an opening. We have two synergies. We have the egg cell and then two polar nuclei and three antipodal cells. The pollen grain contains generative nucleus and a tube nucleus. When the pollen grain lands on the stigma, it absorbs nutrient and germinates, forming a pollen tube. So this pollen tube grows through the style, pushing its way between the cells around the style. It gets nourishment from the cells in the style. Uh, the tube nucleus occupies the position at the tip of a growing uh, pollen tube. So uh, this is a, a pollen grain. It has germinated or developed a pollen tube. Then at the tip is the tube nucleus followed by a generative nucleus which divides by mitosis to form two male um, uh, gamete nuclei. The pollen tube enters the ovule through an opening called micropyle. And when the pollen tube enters uh, or uh, enters or penetrates the ovule, that ovule uh, disintegrates or breaks down or breaks and the ovule or, or the pollen bursts open uh, leaving a clear way for the male nucleus. So this part of the pollen tube will burst so that it can release uh, the male nuclei. So one male nucleus, either this one, fuses uh, with the egg cell to form a diploid zygote which later develops into an embryo. Their remaining male nucleus fuses with the polar nucleus to form a triploid nucleus which forms the primary endosperm and that is the basis of double fertilization in flowering plants. Here is the um, embryo sac. So these are the contents. This is the pollen tube as it enters through the micropyle. Um, the ovule disintegrates around here to leave and then after that the tube nucleus will uh, burst open so that it can leave passage way for passage of the male nuclei. So one of the male nuclei is, is going to fuse with the egg cell nucleus. So one of the male uh, nuclei fuses with the egg cell nucleus to form a diploid zygote that develops into an embryo. While the remaining um, a, a male gamete nucleus fuses with a uh, with a fuses with the polar nuclei here so that it can form a triploid nucleus that later develops into the endosperm. So the endosperm is triploid in nature. We have three sets of chromosomes and the zygote is diploid in nature. It contains two sets of chromosomes and that is the basis of double 
fertilization simply one male nuclei uh, from after the division of generative nucleus fusing with the egg cell to form a diploid zygote that later develops into an embryo and the remaining uh, male nuclei from the division division of the generative nucleus fuses with the polar nuclei to form a triploid endosperm we move to seed development seed and fruit development so the zygote this is the, these are uh, examples of seed so the zygote undergoes the meiotic division and develops into an embryo which has a primule which is the young shoot and a radical which is the young root and either one or two cotyledons these are been having two cotyledons and they are called dicotyledons and maize is a monocot it has one cotyledon so the primary endosperm will develop into endosperm uh -huh. the ovule forms the seed while the ovary develops into a fruit cotyledons are surrounded by a seed coat which is also called the tester and has a scar called the helium which is the point of attachment to the placenta the embryo then separates from the endosperm by a membrane leaving an opening called the microphile yes which allows water into the seed let us quickly look at the main parts of a seed so here is the tester here and it is outer covering that protects the inner part of the seed against damage or attack by insects and bacteria then ileum is a spot where the seed was attached to the fruit or a pod then we have the micropyle uh, which is a small hole through which water and air enters the seed we also have the radical which is the embryonic root and primule that grows into the shoot uh, system those are the parts of the or the leaves then we have cotyledons which are embryonic uh, membranes or leaves uh, stores food for the germinating seed that is the plumule and uh, that is for the plumule and for the radical in some seeds food is stored in the endosperm then we move to development of fruits having looked at the structure of the seed so the fruit development develops immediately after fertilization and is achieved with the help of gibberellin's hormone the wall of the ovary becomes the pericarp or the fruit wall and is made up of three layers we have the outer epicarp the middle layer which is the mesocarp and the inner layer the endocarp and a fruit is described as, to as a fully grown a uh, fertilized ovary containing fully developed seeds fruit development without fertilization is called parthenocarpy and this is uh, exhibited by the pineapples and bananas such fruits or those fruit that develop through parthenocarpy do not have seeds you might have heard uh, a, a term uh, called tissue culture in bananas so these are the walls of a fruit the, the epicarp it has three layers that is i mean the the fruit the pericarp the fruit wall is called the pericarp and it is made of three layers the epicarp also known as the exocarp and the middle layer the mesocarp and then uh, the inner endocarp which is juicy or succulent and then inside the endocarp are these uh, succulent hairs then there is a seed surrounding or around the placenta and then the seeds are uh, attached to the placenta with the help of a structure called the uh, funicle so what are the differences between a seed and a fruit a seed is a fertilized ovule whereas the fruit is a fertilized ovary and a seed is attached to the placenta through the funicle as we have seen here while a fruit is attached to the branch through a stalk 
seeds normally have one scar called hila whereas fruits have two um, scars the one which is being uh, uh, attached to the uh, branch and the one that is going um, uh, to attach the uh, the fruit that was uh, from the placenta then seeds have seed coat or uh, tester covering the seeds whereas the fruits are covered with a pericarp and then the seed wall of a fruit is not differentiated but the fruit wall is a is differentiated into the three uh, layers the epicarp mesocarp and the endocarp then that is the end and uh, attempt this squeeze so that uh, you can have a better understanding of what we have been uh, discussing uh, goodbye and meet you in the next